Hello YouTube. Hey yo, Legonians and fellow Brick fans. This is Dave Frost signing in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the review of the Hulkbuster Smash set from Avengers Age of Ultron. So you see the front of the box before you. Number code is 76031. Comes with 248 pieces and three minifigures and one big fig. As you see before you, it is the front of the box that shows some stuff that you can do with it, with the set. Here is the top of the box. The right side of the box. The bottom. The left. And then the back that shows a bit of an action scene and a few features that you can do with the set. The stickers are just two stickers that go onto the uh, cage that holds the Hulk. Kind of like in the movie, but it's not really all movie accurate. Um, it's just a few slope bricks and a couple of flaps. That's all that we have of the, of the brick built version of the movie scene of the cage that holds the Hulk. And as you can tell here, it says Stark Industries. And that's exactly the reason why I'm not going to, uh, hold on to the stickers. They are in my BrickLink store, which is closed for the time being. Um, if it didn't say Stark Industries, then I would apply the stickers and put them onto a Star Wars... Lego set base that I plan to put into my Lego city in the future. Um, that's the only thing about the stickers that I'm not... The only reason why I'm not holding on to the stickers is because they have Stark Industries on them. But yes, they are in my BrickLink store that is closed until further notice. And I will make a video as of when my BrickLink store opens. As you can tell, I'm bringing in the extra pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the extra pieces include a translite blue. Translight blue arm, minifigure or skeleton arm piece, one, one by one trans light blue stud, round stud. One, one by one trans blue, trans light blue cheese slope. There you go. Two, one by one.
trans red round studs. One, one by one, red, trans red, round cylinder brick. A tan round tooth gear piece. One Technic pin peg piece or, or a barrel canister, round barrel canister peg piece in the light bluish gray color. One trigger system for the stud shooter guns in the dark blue. Fix my lighting here. In the dark bluish gray color. One golden round one by one stud. And then one black. Uh, stick, you know, that is similar to the lightsaber blade, and that's it for the extra pieces. The bags, the pieces, the bags that the pieces come in are three big bags, one small bag per per big bag and then two different type of plastic uh, bags that hold the Iron Man helmet and the Hulk pieces within. Now the instruction manual does come sideways but the imagery is straight up and down, up and down. So you get 12 steps for building the Hulk cage, owned by Stark Industries. <laughs> and for that little scene, you get the Hulk and the Scarlet Witch. And then the rest of the instruction manual is for the Hulk Buster, or more specifically, the Mark 44 Iron Man suit. And you get 31 steps to build that Iron Man suit. And then you get instructions, two steps for where to put Iron Man and how to open up the chest compartment along with the head compartment since you put Iron Man Mark 43 suit inside of it. And then how to fire the stud shooters on the right fist of the Hulkbuster and the feature of the super jumper piece when you put Iron Man onto it and the attempt of firing at firing Iron Man at the Scarlet Witch and it takes one whole page or most of it for the piece count list so that's pretty massive And again, the Super Jumper feature where you fire Iron Man at the Scarlet Witch. And then, I think this is 
all four of the Avengers Age of Ultron movie Lego sets. There may be more or less. Well, not less. Just more than just these four. I am not really sure about it. And then win product. Win something for giving product feedback. You know, that type of information. That's it for the instruction manual. And then you also get this little mini comic that comes in all Lego Marvel superhero sets based upon the amount of sets that come per wave of of the Lego Marvel superhero theme. Um, it's pretty basic, pretty small. And... Sorry that this is a spoiler alert for those of you who want to get these sets that are featured in the comic but do not have them yet. Um, potentially what happens is Scarlet Witch locks the Hulk in the Stark Industries cage and also within a shield and then Iron Man comes in fi fights Ultron and then the Hulkbuster Mark 44 Iron Man suit comes in and Iron Man uses that Hulkbuster suit to finish off Ultron and then Hulk breaks out of the Stark Industries cage and Hulkbuster helps him out and Scarlet Witch is left behind as Ultron takes off. And that's pretty much it for the Hulkbuster Smash. And a Lego set that is involved with this comic. And on back of the comic you get a checklist of what many figures you have. Like there's Ultimate Ultron, Ultron Prime, Ultron Mark 1. Ultron Sentry Officer, Ultron Sentry, Hydra Henchman Vision, Iron Man Mark 43, Baron Von Strucker, Iron Legion, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver Mark, I mean Iron Man Mark 45, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Haw Hawkeye, and Hulk. Now, bear with me for a moment as I change the music theme. To the theme of the Hulkbuster theme in Avengers Age of Ultron. As we finally get onto the set. So, other than the stickers, I also plan to put the super jumper onto my brick into my brickling store, which I already have done. Um, because I have no plans of using the super jumper because of the damage it does to the legs of the minifigures that everyone is noticing and helping others recognize how not so useful the super jumper is. So I'm going to do this by the steps of the instructions and start with the Stark Industries cage holding the Hulk and the Scarlet Witch. Um, so, features 
are that you can fold out the flaps like the Hulk is breaking out of the cage and the other feature is that Scarlet Witch is hovering above the Hulk making the shield like in the comic and you fire the Mark 43 Iron Man suit at Scarlet Witch and she goes falling backwards. Which is a pretty cool feature, but I'm not going to keep the cage as it is instructed, instructed to be built. I'm just going to use the pieces for other stuff in my LEGO City. Now bear with me for a moment, for I did not plan to break it. So now that we got the Stark Industries cage out of the out of the way, we can move on to the minifigures. So this is the Hulk in the olive green color. And he has purple pants with red imagery on the pants and an Avengers symbol on the right side. as you see right here and that's it for the Hulk he has a nice haircut or hairstyle going on on the top of his head and the only maneuverability or posing options that we have are just moving the arms 360 degrees and the wrist or hands 360 degrees as well next we get Scarlet Witch um, first I wanted to note that I'm not gonna keep the Hulk I will also put him on into my Bricklink store which I already have done um, Yeah, he's in my Brickling store, which is not going to open until further notice. Moving on to Scarlet Witch. She has nice chest uh, torso printing and leg printing. Comes with two trans light blue lightning. Uh, pieces and then also nice back torso printing 